this is what the firefighters were using. These are called fire shelters, from what I understand. It comes in a little pack about this size. It comes in a plastic wrap, and it is a last resort to save your life if the fire is coming overhead. So you take it out, you ditch this. First of all, let me ask you, what is this made out of? It's made out of aluminum foil, Kevlar, and Nomex, and it's meant to reduce the heat inside this shelter and keep you from having direct flames against your body. Okay, so it comes out of the pack. It's really tightly folded and packed yep. in like an accordion. Yep. How does it work? I've okay. never seen one. I've never opened one up before. You've got a pack on. That shelter's either going to be on your chest or down here on your butt. Okay. And when you pull it, you've got to get rid of your pack because right. they're flammables. You might have fusees in your pack, and your pack will also be in the way. So you get rid of your pack. Toss the pack. Then you throw this thing out. Throw it out. Throw it out. All right. Something like that? You gotta shake it. it. This is a real tense thing here. Okay. Okay, it's like a little, like a burrito wrap, like a yep, blanket here. It is. Yeah, okay. There's a right hand. All right. And there's a left hand. Okay. Got it. So this is what they have to do. Yep. Now step inside it, Chris. So I'm supposed to be sideways like this? Yep. Show the people at home here. Okay. Just All right, step, step inside. In Back to it? Back to it. Okay. Just like, yep. All right, here now we go. Now pull this over your head. You're going to have to duck because you're a big boy. Here, help me these, out here. I don't, shelters, you guys don't have help. Yep, these shelters are made for bigger guys. The old ones weren't. Okay. So we're going to come on in. All right, now just lay down. Face down. Face down. Okay. And then hold on to the edges. And these guys would have gloves. So that their hands would have to have gloves because they don't want it to burn. This will get hot. And... If you can lay flat, that's even better because then you get it off of your back a little bit. Well, there's not much chance of me laying flat here, but okay, so it's claustrophobic in here. Yep. How hot can this thing take? How, how hot can this thing take? I mean, if fires get up to 1,000 or 2,000 degrees, how much is this thin line able to protect firefighters? It, over 300 have deployed these in 35 years and lived. There are not that many shelter deployments. So there have been a few that have died but that's when conditions were too intense or they didn't have time to get into their shelters. Okay, and we know that all the men that did happen to pass away deployed these. Not all of them were in their shelters. That'll be in the investigation. We'll have more news on that as it develops, but they did deploy. I think things just happened too fast and, and way too intense a right. heat to survive.